What's up, Nation? Really appreciate everybody for tuning in. My name is Law Nation, L-A-W Nation, vlog style. We're going to talk about this. Leighton Van Der Esch getting me some little sunlight action out here in the cool, windy, crazy weather in Texas. But here, here's the thing. How in the world will Leighton Van Der Esch be ready already? Huh? How is that even possible? for Leighton Van Der Esch to be ready already. That's the craziest thing of it all. How is this brother is ready already? <laughs> What's good? Shout out to you, Milky Film. Really appreciate you for tuning in to the nation. Shout out to you, man. Uh, KB, what's good with you, man? Thank you for tuning in. How in the world is Leighton Van Der Esch is ready? My thing is, I think that they probably be rushing him. They, they probably be rushing Leighton Van Der Esch. They pressing a little bit. We need to win, we need Ws. We need to figure out a way to get these things. And, and trust me, unless he got wolf powers, unless he have the ability to heal like a wolf, a Wolverine, if Leighton Van Der Esch come out this weekend or this Monday night and play lights out, I'm gonna be like, good grief. How is this even possible, huh? Shout out to you, Malcolm. Really appreciate you for tuning in. TX19, keeping it mean. Yeah, that's my thought. I think my dog, Okoye, I think he was the first one to come out with a video saying that, hey, I don't think that it's a, a collarbone injury that they protect in Van Der Esch because it's more so to do with his neck. I think that's the situation. Shout out to you, Daryl. Really appreciate you. So, that's what I believe. What's up, man? What's good with you, Hancho? So, in order for us to win, we got to play good defense this week. We do. Regardless of how we look at it, regardless of what we think, we got to play good defense. And when I think about it, and I, and I really see the way the nature of this team can be, regardless of who our quarterback is, I think that we can still move the ball. Why, Law, why? Because of our wide receivers. You got one of the better wide receivers in the league, right? You got one of the better wide receivers out here. So I think that, and, and then on top of that, we can't sneeze on Ezekiel Elliott, right? So. I think that what they're doing is they're looking at this full array of situations and saying, okay, we've been, we've been finally making moves and making things happen, but at a whim. And what's the whim, Law? Well, the whim of the situation is this right here. Jalen Smith, Jalen Smith been one of those guys that he's been forcing to play in his role and I think that Jalen Smith need, uh, uh, I guess, somebody to compliment him. Now, we love Joe Thomas. We love what Joe Thomas brings to the table. But I think that the pairing of Jalen Smith and, and LVE is better. So that's what, I, that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what, I, that's what I'm feeling. That's, what I, that's, what I, that's, what, that's the groove sig signal that I got over here, you know. Uh, fullback time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, well, we're going to need more than a fullback. But that's what I'm thinking. Jada need to stay in the middle. Uh, I feel what you're saying, KB. Uh, the Wolf Pack is back. <laughs> I see a lot of y'all Y'all optimistic about it, huh? Yeah, Y'all feeling good about it. Um, <clears throat> I just think that our offense... Offense is, 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 is going to go smoothly. It's just that this defense, it's just that this defense been our issue. And I, was, I, I have a, a special guest that's going to be on the show tonight. It's pre recorded, by the way. And she brought up the same thing. Like, we kind of painted ourselves in a corner with the uh, cornerbacks who is going to guard who and not to give away the whole entire show but i want to know if you guys feel in the same way like who's really going to guard d hop christian you know uh, kirk uh the other kid and isabella who's going to guard who out there you know what i'm saying you know what i mean 
you know, who's gonna guard who, right? So that's the situation there. We just uh, we just need to sign Charles Haley. <laughs> we do, we do. We we need to sign somebody, huh? Need to sign somebody. <clears throat> Should have kept Robert Quinn. I don't know. I, I don't hear too much noise of Robert Quinn. I don't hear too much noise of Robert Quinn. Where he at? Y'all think that Diggs gonna hold D Hop? Play zones by the quarterback, that would be nice. <laughs> Chicago led Robert Quinn. I don't think he's doing anything. And I heard that uh even Byron get down Jones, I don't think that he's doing anything as well. So hey, here's my my thoughts on uh on Diggs holding D Hop. Cause he's he's probably be the better option than, than Anthony get down brown that's a story of a different day we love Anthony get down brown but we don't want to see him on D hop you know but he, here's the story of Diggs in my opinion just my opinion here's my story I don't think I don't think that Diggs and Hopkins are going to be like that epic battle like we seen with Diggs and Julio because Julio was playing basketball with the football. He was dropping it. I don't think, and this hear me out, I don't think that Hop is going to drop the ball like Julio. So we, we're going to have to worry about that, right? We're going to have to put that in our mental mind. Yeah. Phone lits tonight. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the phone lit tonight though, fam, but I really appreciate you for tuning in. Yeah, really do. Really do. We may need to spy on Murray to contain him in those uh, lanes or what have you, just from Thomas Garrett. Well, best way to play Murray is to force him to pass the ball out of the pocket. We're going to have to have our guys to play very good disciplined football. And believe it or not, I know a lot of people rag and dog on uh, D-Law, which is granted, you know, but I will say this, Cowboy Nation. If, and I'm just yeah, lady was checking in on me. All right, so <laughs> what's up, y'all? I know y'all still here. So, so here's the situation. Here, here's the situation. What, what was I talking about? I dog, I lost my train of thought. I was talking about D Law, and I was talking about how to stop Murray. Y'all help me out. What I was talking about? We back. Yeah, yeah Q, what's good? Yeah. <laughs> neighborhood watch, man. I'm a neighbor, I'm a neighborhood watch dog out here today. Uh, <laughs> nah, I didn't forward the call. <laughs> We're keeping up having the turnovers. Okay, we gotta have turnovers. Yeah, yeah. D Law, we were talking about D Law. Okay, KB, really appreciate you. You, you the real MVP. We were talking about D Law. Yeah, we were talking about D Law. All right, so D Law and how we can stop uh, Kyla Murray. I do think that we can. Uh, Contain him, keep him inside the pocket, forces him to throw inside the pocket. We're going to have to play disciplined football. We're going to have to play sound football. we got to be on the same page. We're going to have to, um, yeah, turnovers are a plus, but I think that it's going to be a shootout. I just don't see that this particular defense will be a defense that's going to shut anybody down, right? That's how I'm looking at it. How do you feel about Gregory coming back? He'll be a plus. But 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 here's here's my here's my here, here's my situation with, with this Randy Gregory. And it's the same issue that we had with, with uh DeMarcus Lawrence and Taco. You see, here's the situation with Taco and Demarcus Lawrence. When when Taco was on the team, Taco and Demarcus Lawrence both left defensive end. If you look at all of Taco charts and sacks, 
that came from the left side. I think he only had one to come from the right. So by him being a left defensive end edge rusher, that's his natural position. So a lot of people were looking at Taco saying, oh, he's trash, he's horrible. He, he, he can't get off real quick. But it's kind of like me saying, okay, you're right-handed, but I'm gonna force you to run to the left. Hear me out. The Cowboys now will have Alden Smith, who primarily play on the right defensive end, although he can be interchangeable and play on both sides. Also, within the same breath, you also have Randy Gregory, who played right defensive end. Everson Griffin, who played right defensive end. You see what I'm saying? All of those dogs play on the right side. That's what I'm thinking. Where our issues come from is that when we do try to rotate those guys out and we put them on the side that they're not really accustomed to, they really don't get the numbers that we really looking for. So now there's room for them to be even more crowded. Even Doris Armstrong, he plays that right. They flip him over to the left defensive end because we need that guy to be on that side. But that's not his natural side. If you guys get what I'm saying, right? Law Cheeto Woozie come back and play against the Arizona. I don't know. I have to check the waiver. I have to check the news wire and see what they're talking about with Cheeto Woozie. I haven't checked anything. I just saw the information about LVE coming back. Yeah. So that, that's our issue right now. That's our, that's our problem right now. Yeah. Montana 808, what's good? What's good with you, fam? wind blowing today <laughs> different story versus Dallas now uh, Dalton is a non-factor they stack the box they make Dalton beat him stack the box and make Dalton beat him uh, here, here's the situation with that I, I do like that 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 analogy or, or that thought track stacking the box and making Dalton beat us but beat, beat the uh, Arizona Cardinals. I don't think, and this is no hate, this is no shade, this is no uh, slander. But Dak Prescott, he was going into his fifth year. I believe deep down in the hearts of hearts, attack the outside and I think that Andy Dalton he can throw a fade ball pretty good and he can't throw that out route <laughs> great but the fade he can do it so I'm thinking that if he see one on one to the outside then he's going to go to that wide receiver now Andy Dalton he's not allergic to to turnovers he will turn that thing over he will be a <laughs> man Brett Favre with that you know so we got to be careful with that but I'm thinking my, my dog Skywalker, shout out to him. Go support his channel, Dallas Cowboys Network. If you give, if you give my dog Michael Gallup one on one to the outside, you throw it up for a 50 50 chance. I think he can take it. I think he can grab that ball. I mean, his way is so strong. It's blowing this thing, boy. So, so that's what I'm looking at. I, I, I would, if I'm Dalton, I would embrace the, the, the eight, nine man fronts. You can't hear me, big dog. Can you hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? I, I've been talking this whole time. Y'all can't hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Let's see him walk. Let me walk towards the wind. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah. That wind, okay, that wind. See that wind strong at it. 
Let me walk towards the way. Let me walk towards the way. Let me walk this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm walking against the wind, you know. Yeah, that's better. Okay. See? 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 That's the adjustments, baby. Y'all making the adjustment. Vlog style, baby. Lord, uh, <laughs> shout out to Texas Wind. Strong Texas Wind. Shout out to him. Rue Glock. What's good with you, man? Really appreciate you. Yeah. What? Truck flying his ass off, boy. I'm going to have to put up. I'm going to have to be at the next HOA meeting saying these trucks got to slow it down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We get these same weathers. In, we get these same weathers in Ohio. Man, that Ohio boy, boy, that Ohio weather crazy though. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let's go, Cowboys. Yeah. Don't get hit. <laughs> yeah. See, let me show you where I'm at though. I got. I'm on the sidewalk right here. The sidewalk kind of a little dingy though. Closer to this edge right here. There we go. Closer to the edge. Yeah. Um, they stacked the box on Andy and he will be eaten. He will get eaten. Well, stack the box. What? One, two, three. That ball out. See? See my stuff? See my drop? One, two, three. That ball out, baby. Stack the box. One on one to the outside. Stack the box, I see CD lying up inside. I audible, tell CD to go and get on the out. Let, let them come through, yeah. Let them come through, let, let them blitzes come in. Cause you see that, that's what we do now. We don't do the 12 personnel no more. We running out that thing, 11 and 10 personnel. I said, God dog, boy. I said, God dog, what this team is, team different. This team is different, you know, win right here. So, I don't know. <laughs> Quick reads, yeah, get kill them all the time. Laudation, do you think? Oh man, what wing flavor? I like that. Uh, <laughs> lemon pepper, baby. But I will say this: I'm not. Uh, trust me, I'm not putting him on this level, Cowboy Nation. Please don't, please don't crucify me. But you guys remember Peyton Manning? Slowest quarterback in life. And I, I used to think, man, this dude finna get creep. This guy finna get killed out here. I mean, I got, I know grandmothers in wheelchairs that can roll around faster than him on, on, on uh, concrete. Yeah, man, quicksand. And uh, Peyton Man used to get that ball out so got dog on quick. Line up on the center. Look to the left, look to the right, get that ball out. I hope that Andy Dalton can be that guy. I hope he can get that ball out quick. We wouldn't even, we wouldn't even have to worry about how bad Ter 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 Terrence uh, uh, still is. We wouldn't have to worry about how bad Brandon Knight is. Yeah. Penny Ash will help Jalen on the uh, Monday night. He should. Rude, don't give LB. <laughs> A title that he's the beast title. Nah. Establish the run, play action is Eric. Yeah. You know, they gotta show up. X-ray man, yeah. A lot of you think the Cowboys should try to uh run on their back. Uh, but I don't know. I think the opening play, the opening drive. Open the drive. They probably have started off with a play action. I think the Cowboys are going to start it off with play action. Play action run because everybody going to expect Ezekiel to touch the ball. And I think they're going to air it out. I think they're going to put that ball in there. I think that Amari Cooper is going to have a hell of a day. It's a home game. He had a he had a horrible game last week. I think he's gonna have a hell of a day. I think 
that CD Lab is going to continue to do CD Lab things. I think that Michael Gallup is Andy Dalton's new toy. And I think on third downs, remember Dak Prescott was going to Amari Cooper on third down, the money guy. And he kind of short on those a couple of times. He, he, he killed those about two times and this year, three times collectively. So I think on third downs now, it's gonna be Gallup. Let me know if you guys think <laughs> that it's Gallup for third downs. Matt Stafford would take us to the promised land. Matt Stafford, man, how did y'all get on Matt Stafford? <laughs> Gallup is a dog, yeah. Big dog too. Gallup's a big dog. They call me crazy. I keep Gallup over Cooper. It's from Godfrey. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ready Red says Stafford is trash. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna debate that. Stafford, another Texas native. Yeah, Stafford would, he wouldn't take us anywhere. But that win factor. always open. <laughs> you ain't lying, fam. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. City Lamb always open. City Lamb, yeah, he made, he made literally, I've seen two people fall on the ground, and literally three. But I've seen two people fall on the ground when he's running the route. I was like, yeah, dog. That boy is crazy with it. But on those two plays, he wasn't the, uh, the, the option. The second option or the third option uh, hurt us bad seeing that go down. Yeah, Josh is casualties in war. That's one guy I definitely didn't want to see go down. And we got a chance to see him go down, and it was horrible, man, for us. But I will say this, and I'm so optimistic, you know, and I know a lot of people don't like it. They be like, hey, man, come on, man, let's wake up, law, wake up, law. But in the hearts of hearts, hearts of hearts, nobody saw Kirk Cousin coming, right? Not Kirk Cousin, Kurt Warner. <laughs> My God, Kirk Cousin. Kurt Warner, nobody saw Kurt Warner coming, right? Did anybody see Kurt Warner coming? Did anybody know that Kurt Warner was going to be that dog, <laughs> that guy? Did anybody see Kurt Warner? Let me know. Let me let me see anybody in the chat box that will say, "Yeah, man, I knew, I knew Kurt Warner was gonna be, be that dog. I knew Kurt Warner was gonna be that guy." Let me know. Did you guys see Kurt Warner? Did you guys believe that Kurt Warner was gonna take the the Rams of all teams to the Super Bowl? Uh huh. So what we gotta do, real talk, what we gotta do is we gotta find out. What was all said about Kurt Warner before he became Kurt Warner? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Nobody saw Kurt Warner coming. All right. Let me move on to another guy. Um, who else that was coming around? I really can't put him in this conversation, but I'm going to put him in this conversation. But nobody really saw Tom Brady coming. Nobody really saw him coming. Right? Did anybody see Tom Brady coming? Huh? Let me know. Let me see in the comment box. Anybody saw Tom Brady coming? You know, nobody saw him coming. They're like, man, this guy is managing the game, but he managed the game pretty well. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me move on to this next person. <laughs> I might get some hate mail from a lot of people. Hindsight is always 2020, though. I bet you they would fool around and figure out something else to keep them. Did anybody see Nick Foles coming? Did anybody see Nick Foles coming? I'm going to read the comment box, even if the Eagles fans are in here. Let me see, see the beautiful lies. I say, yeah, I always do. Nick Foles is going to be that dog, right? <laughs> Let me see. Anybody knew 
they like at the start of the year they they, they said in 2000 and i believe 17 or what, what year they won the super bowl was it 17 or 18 one of those years did anybody see nick Foles doing what he did you know <laughs> yeah just 17 nobody saw him coming Nick Foles and just rolled up on that thing and said, all right, cool. <laughs> so so that's that's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that Andy Dalton, of all people, or any of those guys, I'm not saying that he's he's a Nick Foles or he's a Tom Brady or he's a Kurt Warner, you know. But what I'm saying is that anything can happen. And I believe we got the weapons for it to happen, right? We got we got all of the good offensive power. We got a dynamic running back. Our offensive line is it's a little shambles there though, but I think that we got you know some some makeshift pieces that we can say to ourselves if we get the ball out quick. I trust my wide receivers to beat the third defensive back. We got to find the hole in the defensive back. That's what we got to face. So that's what I think that we should do. Huh? He's good, yeah. Shout out to you, man. Um, <clears throat> Cowboys Digital, what's good with you, man? Yeah, I think we're gonna shake everybody, yeah. Most definitely. So, that's all I wanted to say, man. I wanted to bring out those things, Cowboy Nation. I gotta get back. Gotta get back to the house or what have you, but I really appreciate each and every last one of you all for tuning in. Post me your thoughts. I think that LVE is coming back too soon. I think that LVE need to sit down somewhere. I'll give you guys my thoughts on LVE before I roll up out of here. I think that LVE should look at the Tony Romo situation and say, hey, y'all rushing me back, dog. I don't supposed to be back until like the Steelers week. I'm two weeks too soon, unless he got vampire slash or I guess wolves blood or something in him. Maybe he is actually <laughs> a lichen. That's what it is. That's what they call it. A lichen. Uh, is it a lichen? Whatever. What's a, what's a wolf? You know, one of those things that turn a werewolf. Yeah, it's a werewolf. It's a werewolf. Uh. he's Wolverine yeah if he heal that quick because that collarbone is gonna be brittle baby yeah you punch a hole in the wall and you plaster it up that wall and that part would never be as hard as it should be the way it going what about right here okay so so that's what I wanted to say Cowboy Nation I think they're rushing him back I think that they need to slow down with the rush J. Forbes said, dog, it ain't cold outside, man. I can barely stay in this wind about to blow me down. <laughs> you wind about to blow me down, bro. Hey, we used to run, we used to run towards the wind. Like, yeah, dog, man, I'm, I'm Usain Bolt around this, baby. <laughs> I can run fast, baby. But all right, Cowboy Nation, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Let a friend, neighbor, folk know where to go when they want to tune in to Cowboy Sports Talk and Beyond. That's all the time that I have for right now. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go. Let's go. But the blow me down.